What's up, YouTube? Today we're looking at a K-Bar. And I have sort of forgotten what the name of this K-Bar is. So we're going to see momentarily. I believe it is the K-Bar 1266. Not 100% on that. It comes with this sheath that for whatever reason some people really have an issue with. I'm not, I don't know why that is. Um, it is a little bit longer than it needs to be, I will say that, but it's also like, it's not that bad. It's not like it's the end of the world as far as sheets go. Hang on, I need to get a drink. Kinda hot today. All right, let's take a look at this blade. This is a semi, I mean, is it a traditional Japanese Tanto? In a way, yes. In a way, yes, it is. I've read that they had modified their swords to be like this to pierce better because of the, the armor the Mongols were wearing at the time. Pretty sure they repelled that, uh, the horde. The horde didn't do so well, I guess, against the people on islands. That doesn't mean, literally though, one in every 200 people is a direct descendant of, um, is it Attila the Hun or is it, who is the Mongol guy? I forget. But in any event, so you have the, this is a rubber texturized K-bar grip with the pen holding in the rat tail, as you can see right there. It is made in Olean, New York. And it's not as thick as a lot of the other offerings from K-Bar. I think it's seven inches long, making it about just as long as the, uh, the one that's the bayonet. It's the Marine bayonet, but just as a knife. The, number, the SP-6 is what I'm thinking of. Why did I get this? Well, let me tell you, folks. Right now, Jeff Bezos will give you $60 to open a line of credit, meaning you're gonna get a card and you're gonna get 3% cash back on your Amazon purchases, which is actually worth it. I'm gonna keep the, the line of credit open. I thought I was just gonna shut it down. Um, <clears throat> so uh, that means that I got a, back on this, I got like about a dollar and 15, even though Jeff Bezos <laughs> paid for 60 of it, right? So he really paid for $64 and 70 odd cents. Bottom line is you need to take, a care, take advantage of the little things that Amazon offers. So I, yeah, cause I've been looking at this. I didn't really know what to think about it. I liked, I don't like the American Tonto being the one that has the point right here. You have a straight line, like a, almost like a chisel and then it kind of has less belly. I just don't really like that. Um, in a fixed blade that you're gonna do anything with, that secondary tip is going to become very quickly blunted from sharpening, or used to. Uh, it's just hard to, uh, I'd say blunted from sharpening. Um, if you know what you're doing, you'll be fine, but it is, rather tough at least for me to keep that edge the way i would like at that point nice and pointy with those two edges meeting it's going to become rounded off somehow some way and then it's not going to be as functional i really like this i like how thin it is behind the edge i like the grind on it it really does have a uh fairly beefy tip to be honest this tip isn't playing around. You can see that it comes to 
but you can't see. But you can see it thins out and then gets thicker again right there. Through here it's thinner, then it gets thicker again when this comes up to meet it. It's a great example of what swedges are supposed to do. Hang on. All right, anyway. <laughs> I'm right by a military base. I think they're running operations. But yeah, it is, uh, it's everything I wanted. Did I need it? Do you need anything? Do you need anything except maybe like a box cutter in your life? Or a machete or something? Like, I don't know if, you, listen, it's knife collecting or buying cool knives that you don't need isn't about needing the knife. That's not someone that buys a Mustang. Do they need a Mustang or could they have gotten by with a Tesla or maybe a small Toyota or something. I don't know, dude. That's really not a question I ask because it's kind of a, a, a dumb question, right? Open-ended, pointless question. Very cool. The SP6 costs around 40 bucks, 45 bucks off of Amazon. This cost 90 some, but with $60 off, it's more like, you know, less than that. Um, yeah, I would check it out if you're interested. Um, I'll probably do a re-review of this when I've had the time to play around with it. I will say that it is very quick in the hand. The balance is about where my index finger is. Yep, I got it balanced. And that's why it doesn't feel heavy they they stay pretty true to what they were copying in that this is not a chunk of you know ridiculous metal in any event thanks for sticking with me to the end hope you folks have a great rest of your day bye now